One of the most identifiable features of the moon, of Earth, is its millions of craters. If you just look at the moon in the night sky, or even through a telescope, you can see that it has so many different craters, or big impacts from space rocks, from around the solar system, and even maybe the galaxy. Now, why does the moon have so many craters? On Earth, we don't have that many craters, and even on other moons, there are not as many craters as there are on our moon. But why does the moon have so many different craters, and what's the science behind it? Well, in this episode, I'm going to take you on a deep dive into the science of craters, the moon, and answering this question, why does the moon have so many craters? Let's get right into this episode. Let's go. So why does the moon have so many craters? Well, first, we have to start off with the structure of the moon. You see, the moon was all formed by a collision millions of years ago when the Earth was still forming, and some big 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 asteroid or even another planet we're not sure yet but that hit the earth and what happened is that split apart the earth and a piece that came off of it and all the dust and debris clumped together to form the moon so the moon is basically leftover dust from the earth and it's from a collision millions of years ago now when we talk about craters the craters they happen everywhere craters happen when meteors and space rock and asteroids and comets even sometimes they hit a planet or a moon's surface so you see a crater an impact crater especially it was caused by all this and this is because all that force essentially puts a hole in the ground and it kind of digs up the inner layers of the planet or the moon that we're talking about so it basically puts a giant hole in the surface of the planet or moon and it's there for millions of years now why does the moon have so many compared to earth and maybe even other planets well first let's say that in the solar system mercury and the moon have the most craters yes mercury and the moon the first planet from the sun and our own moon now why do they have that well, the first thing is because of the surface itself. You see, the moon does not have tectonic plates, meaning that the plates that the land on the moon does not change, it just stays as it is. But on Earth, it has tectonic plates. What happens is that even though Earth was pelted by all these asteroids and meteors and everything, the same as the moon was, all these craters that were that happened when the Earth was still forming, they all just went away because... Over time, Earth basically recycles its land. And because of volcanic eruptions, tectonic plates, new land forming, land getting destroyed, everything is changing. Earth is never, never still. And the land that we're sitting on right now, even if you're watching this video right now, that means that the land is still moving under you because of the tectonic plates and everything. And this is why these old craters that were there millions of years ago aren't there anymore because they get recycled over time. There are only a few remaining craters from fairly recent, even though they're fairly recent, maybe millions and millions of years. That's basically a short amount of time in the lifespan of this, of space in a timeline of how long our planet and how long the universe existed. So that's why we still have a few craters that are around to this day. And these craters are very big tourist attractions. You should probably go check them out while you can. Now, the moon does not have tectonic plates, so all the craters that happened millions of years ago, they're still there on the moon today. Also, there's no erosion or natural weathering and erosion or natural movement of materials on the moon to get rid of all these. That's why the footprints from the first astronauts on the moon are still on the moon. And that's why all the rover tracks and everything are still on the moon because there's nothing to wash those away, nothing to blow those away because of erosion. That's the same with all these craters that form. Now, another big reason is because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere. So an atmosphere is basically a giant black blanket of gases in above the Earth and above any other planet or moon. So the Earth has a very, very thick atmosphere. That's what keeps us alive on a daily basis. But the moon does not have an atmosphere. and It's very, very thin, if not non-existent. And since it has a really thin atmosphere, what happens is that the atmosphere basically provides cushion for the Earth. You see, when a space rock or something enters into Earth's atmosphere, it starts burning up because of all that air that's around it. It starts creating friction and air resistance, and it starts burning up. So that's why, even though you might get millions of meteors today, none of them actually hit Earth in like big, big chunks because it starts breaking up and it starts burning up in the Earth's atmosphere before it can reach Earth. 
And these, again, these are like small, small meteorites. But the moon, on the other hand, doesn't have an atmosphere. So all the meteorites and asteroids that hit it, they don't have anything to go through. So they just hit it full force. And the moon basically has no protection from those. So that's the reason why the moon has so many craters. And it's one of the most identifiable features. The craters are so big that you can see them from Earth. When you just look up at the night sky on a full moon day, you can see all the craters on the moon. And if you take a telescope, you get even better views of the craters. You can observe each crater. It is so cool to think about. And space is just amazing. And how all this just works is amazing. Now, let's let's review what we learned in this episode. In this episode, we learned that the moon has so many craters because of two big reasons. One is that the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, so it doesn't have any air resistance and anywhere for those meteors and asteroids to burn up. Second, the moon can't doesn't have tectonic plates unlike the earth, which means that the land on these planets like earth can be recycled but on the other hand the moon doesn't have erosion or even tectonic plates so the land on the moon cannot be recycled and cannot be renewed because of all these and that's why all these craters and even the first footprints from the astronauts on the moon are still there it's all because of no erosion and no nothing on the moon and that's why it has so many craters and it's one of the most identifiable features on the moon today Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science is produced and hosted by me, Akshay J. Raman. Our theme song and additional music are by Chan Ramachandran. Please visit my podcast website, SpectacularSci.com, to find interactive activities, articles, and blog posts. That's SpectacularSci.com. Do you have a science question you want to answer on a Spectacular Science episode and get a special shout-out? Or grab an adult and head over to SpectacularSci.com slash contact. There you can find a form where you can send me your amazing science questions. Thank you so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast for you're listening right now. It really encourages me, and you'll be updated on all the new episodes. Subscribe and share this podcast with your friends and family. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of Spectacular Science next week. Keep thinking about science.